So today, September 11th, we've got a really fun vendor event. I look forward to this one every year. It is the Farmers Makers Market at the Elmore Stock Farms. It's a great event. It's my favorite every year. So let me give you a little sneak peek at this awesome. There's a patriotic theme this year since, of course, it's 9-11. This is my setup. And of course, you don't have to tell me twice to do a theme. You know I love a theme. Of course, I incorporated it a little of being fire mom decor in here. I think it turned out really nice. This venue is absolutely stunning as well. Um, my friends got married here a few years ago. It's a beautiful event. Let me show you. And they've done a all in patriotic theme when you walk in. It's so pretty. Let me give you a little view of the outside. It's a beautiful, beautiful venue. It's one of my favorites, as you can see why. The view is beautiful. There's food trucks. And all sorts of shopping. I, I see my pocketbook taking a hit today, but I really don't care. I am here to shop and enjoy the day and meet some wonderful people. But it's really, it's the most beautiful. And look at these chandeliers. They made these chandeliers. Stunning, stunning. And this is my friend Chelsea's booth with Stella and Dot. There's Chelsea. <laughs> I see some clothing that I'm going to be checking out. There's more booths upstairs. I know there was jewelry and I haven't wandered up. I don't think the other booth is set up yet. There are lots of clothing boutiques, lots of jewelry. These are amazing. Bob photographs barns all over the country, and these are actually made on tin. I mean, look at these. Stunning. These will last forever, too. These are just beautiful. Every time I see his work, I am just amazed. Lots of, lots of clothing vendors. Got Color Street nails, a little more jewelry. I can never have enough jewelry in my book. Obviously, you know that since I split. Another view of the barn here. It's just a beautiful venue. Like I said, my friends got married here. It was a beautiful ceremony. It's just amazing. They have done a fabulous job with it. In here, there's more clothing, more jewelry soaps that smell fabulous when you walk in. It's going to be a fantastic day here um, and paying honor to 9-11. So look at this. This is one of my favorite pieces they have here. How cute is that? I keep asking Bob to make me. I need a champagne cart for my dining room. One of these days I'm going to get my wish. I'm telling you. Yeah, it's just a beautiful place. It's my favorite. It's going to be a beautiful place. It's going to be like 90 degrees here in Illinois today, so just crazy. Um, I'll probably take you back out when the crowd, it runs from 9 to 3. Um, take you out again, a little sneak peek at the property. And it's going to be a great day. I'm looking forward to it. So tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. My girlfriend's having some of us over for a little kind of end of summer, beginning of fall luncheon, and I thought it would be nice if I brought... Um, a nice little homemade dessert and a little spritzer drink. So let me show you what I am bringing for tomorrow. I picked up, I'm going to do little individual um, little jars, little mason jar dessert. So I picked up some mason jars. I pop these, got these at the Dollar Tree. I do have some lids downstairs. Some little spoons that I also found at the Dollar Tree. And I love to make a little theme. So I'm going to tie the spoons on, on with a cute little kind of Halloween ribbon and then I thought I would tie these onto here as well that's gonna look really cute and then I'm gonna make a little individual drink as well I've got these little bottles and I'll show you what the drinks gonna be it's gonna be a combination of a seltzer water and the Tazo the iced watermelon cucumber um, half of each it's going to be perfect. That's going to be really good. I'm excited to try that tomorrow. Um, let me start my recipe though real quick. I'm also going to make the desserts are going to be, it's going to be a little, little mini cheesecake. So let me show you what I've done here. I have already gone ahead. I picked up a little angel food cake. I'm going to cut that into some little bite-sized pieces. And then I've made some 
just finished this, some lemon pudding. So this is gonna need to go in the fridge and set up a little bit. Um, I'll assemble everything tomorrow. And then the only other ingredient, um, some Cool Whip that I'll defrost in the morning. And then just some strawberries that you cook down for about, oh, about 10 minutes just till they, these are frozen, just to release the juices and kind of get them nice and, nice and soft and then you let them cool about 15 minutes and I will refrigerate everything and in the morning I'm so what it's gonna be in the morning it's gonna be a layer um, of the angel food cake little layer of pudding strawberries cool whip repeat the layers and then um, I'll end with cool whip on the top because who doesn't love some cool whip on the top and like I said I'm gonna tie the little witch's hat on and a little ribbon and then I'm going to make the spritzers and I think it's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice day to enjoy at the pool. The weather is still super warm here in the Midwest so it's just going to be a lovely day. My friends and I have not had a chance to catch up in probably a couple months so it's going to be nice to just sit and enjoy the day together. Um, I will show you the finished product tomorrow once I get these assembled. You can cook everything the day before, get it all ready, but I don't want to assemble it till tomorrow because I don't want it to get all mushy and the um, angel food cake to just get all sloppy and mushy. So I will um, pop a video, I'll film a little bit after I get them all ready as I'm getting them ready tomorrow. And I think they're going to be really cute. It's a little early for Halloween, but I love Halloween and I thought the little witch's hats were cute and I thought it would just be fun. So um, stay tuned and I will show you what the project looks like. So I'm getting ready to head to my little lady's end of summer luncheon with a couple of my girlfriends. We're going to enjoy, like I said, lunch by my friend's pool today. It's going to be so nice. Um, what am I wearing? Nice and casual, little lily top I picked up in Palm Beach, pair of the pair of pink shorts. I'll throw on some Tory Burch sandals, um, my earrings I showed, a new necklace. It's pretty. It's got just a single little pearl on it. Hair up casual. It's going to be a warm day, so we're going to enjoy a lovely day by the pool. But I'm going to put together, I wanted to show you how I was going to put together our little single serve mason jar desserts and the little watermelon, cucumber, seltzer spritzers I was making. Sorry about that. There. Prop you up there. Perfect. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the spritzers. Um, I just found these cute little water bottles, just plastic. I'm just going to take some, uh, it's simply half seltzer half of one of these um, Tazo refreshers. I did the iced watermelon and cucumber. I thought that would be perfect for today. And I think it will probably be maybe like a cup of each in these. So it's literally half and half. That's what I'm gonna start with is a cup of each and then I can always add from there. I thought this would be something nice and refreshing to sip by the pool. I'm just gonna put these in little single serve water bottles as well. That's what's so nice about, you know, going out somewhere with a little single serve. Makes it so much easier because I don't have to sit and cut the cake up and the, get it all assembled and together. It's perfect, just like this. So let's see, I think these are gonna be really tasty on today. It's going to be so warm out this weekend too. Yeah, I think a cup of each is going to be perfect. Maybe just a tad more. Yeah, I'll just add in just a little bit more of each. And I think we'll be good to go. Can't wait to taste these. These are going to be so refreshing. And they look pretty too. That's why I went ahead and went with the clear bottle. They had some colored bottles. I thought, oh, the clear, clear bottles will be pretty. Yep, I think that will be just about perfect. And I'm gonna put everything in. Cute little basket to transport it. So these will go in. And then to, I will finish the others. And then to assemble the little mason jar desserts. I'm gonna take my mason jar. I cut up some angel food cake. So I'm just gonna layer angel food cake on the bottom layer, just into bite-sized pieces. And then a little bit of lemon pudding. I made this, let it set all night so it would be ready to go. 
a little bit of lemon pudding as the next layer. And I really don't measure it, just eyeball it and see how it Just really eyeball it. So you've got some lemon pudding and then I cooked down some strawberries. These, this was just a bag of the frozen strawberries. I just cooked it on low till um, they were soft. A lot of the juices came out. That's all I did for those. I'm gonna kind of spread the lemon out just a little bit more. Add some strawberries with the juices. Delicious. That's gonna be so good. Spread those out. And then the final touch is gonna be a little bit of Cool Whip. I mean, really, everything tastes better with Cool Whip. Repeat the layers and with Cool Whip at the bottom or at the bottom, at the top. And then I've got something really cute to go around it because I love a little a little bit of a theme. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more, kind of smush it all down. A little bit more pudding. And these did not have lids. So I'm just gonna cover them with some plastic wrap. Again, I'm doing the layers. Said I'm going to end with Cool Whip. Everything's better with Cool Whip, right? I think so. And then I'm going to clean that off a little bit. I'm going to just like I said, wrap the top in plastic wrap. I wish these would have had lids. I thought I had some lids from another project. I do, but they have holes in them because I use them for something else. So that's not going to work. So a little plastic wrap, that will be just fine. And then I found these cute little hats. I know it's a little early for Halloween. I like Halloween. So I am going to single serve spoon, throw away, easy. Everyone can keep their little mason jar. So I'm going to just tie this with a little bit of ribbon. Just to make it look cute, we'll be all set. I mean, really, this is easy. You could do this with any kind of fruit you have, anything you have around the house. This could just, this is just such an easy little dessert. And I just think the little single size servings, they're cute. They're easy. So I thought, I thought it'd be fun. We don't have to fuss with anything. We just, little dessert. If you don't want to eat it all, you've got dessert to take home. Snack on it later. That's probably what I'll do because it kind of is a large dessert. I think they're really cute. I just picked up these uh, little witch's hats at the Dollar Tree. I love this silverware you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. It looks like the silver, but it's not. These are nice to just have on hand for little things like this, or if you're going out somewhere just to have a little bit of to-go silverware. I think these are perfect. I had thought about tying it around the top, but I, th I think this will be, this will be perfect. I need to tighten, shorten the bows a little bit. I think it'll be fun. And I, I like the long bow. That's kind of the finished finished product. Move that up there. I think they're cute. I think they're gonna be fun. We're looking forward to just a nice day together. Like I said, I'm gonna put all these in my basket. It's gonna be a nice little presentation to go to my friend's house. I think it looks really cute. Take it, Shibia. I think it would be cute. Serve everything up from this little basket for everybody. So I think it's gonna be fun. So I definitely looking forward to a lovely day. Um, I will update you on how these turned out, but they're gonna be delicious. What can you go wrong with angel food cake, strawberries, lemon pudding, and Cool Whip? I don't think so. And the watermelon and seltzer, that's just going to be super refreshing. This is really an easy dessert. It's pretty, it's fun. And so I'm up here at the grand opening of a new boutique that opened here up in town. It is so cute. We've got a little boutique here, a coffee tea shop next door, the chiropractor, um, our little local restaurant, and then we have another restaurant up the way. It's so nice to see just the little towns thriving with great shops and things. So let me flip you around and show you. Poor Bob, I hear often, but look how adorable it is. It's called the Fashion Farm Boutique. 
How cute. I've already picked up. Oh my gosh. I will show you when I get home, but I'm going to get a corduroy dress. That with a really nice belt. It's going to be so cute. I can't wait. Look how adorable it is. I'll show you the outside when I am done. But right now, I'm going to shop. So support your local businesses.